Hey guys, welcome to another of the huge photo car collection. This will be my January ones. I am recording this on the last day of January. It still technically is the start of the year collection. It's just mainly because I wanted to get my red velvet binder done so I could show you guys in this video. Because I've mainly been, for the last few updates, I haven't been showing that binder. And of course I did a video of me like organizing my second red velvet binder, which is like all non-album official goods. I can actually show you guys that binder now in these kind of videos. I technically have five I have main binders just now. I have an extra one just for my Tice pre-order cards. I don't know when I'll be splitting my Get A Bit binder into two, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. But for just now, this is what my binders are. I only have three here because of course I don't have enough desk space. But I will be going through Red Velvet first, then Luna, then my Get A Groups, and then Boy Group. So yeah, let's get started. This is my Red Velvet binder. I do have to change the cover page for this because I do want to put the cycle group picture in this now but currently it's the V2 one from Input Impa so yeah. I'm collecting all five members album cards and I actually do still have a few things to put in here. I technically have a few things that I've gotten. Okay so it just started raining so I apologise for the noise. Perks of living in Scotland but I have these still and I am currently trading one of my Irene travel kits for joys so i think i might just wait to put these in until i get all five members but these will be going in to this binder just because it's an album insert it's not like a sm like goods item it's like you get this in the album since i have some album inclusions in here already not just the photo card so yeah just think of these being in here but i only have uh, sogi irene and yeri's travel kits for day two and yes yeah, so so i actually finally have my white sleeves in here and that's something i've been wanting to do for a while just because it looks cleaner and i don't have to see other cards and just, like what's behind it it just doesn't look nice so one day once i have like the time and once i have like inspiration to do it i'm gonna make actual placeholders which relate to the kind of comeback slash era so i did do one page of it before i did that ages ago and i've still yet to like improve on it i have shown it in previous like updates but I've taken them out and put in the white sleeves so this is what I have currently. Just to clarify how I lay out red velvet, I do it I do most of my cards in age order, depending if I collect all group all members in the group or like some members. For red velvet, basically Sogi goes in the middle because she's my bias. But for example, this is the new way I'm laying out like a six card spread. I think that's what you want to call it. I call it the 2-2-2 two, two, two because it's kind of split up into two in the layers. But I used to have this Irene, Sogi, Wendy, Joy, Yeri in, in the group. So there'd be like a big line, like this whole row didn't have any cards in it. And Sogi would go up here and thinking about it, yeah, um, Wendy's would stay up there and Sogi's would just have to go down one and it's kind of in the same slot, it's just in a different row. So that's how I think about it but that's just like the old way I'd lay out my six cards per spread, my per page, but this is the new way I'm doing it now. So it doesn't really make sense in that way, but I think it just makes sense to say that Sogi's my bias, so I'll put her in the middle. And it seems the most fitting to me because she is my bias and so, yeah. <laughs> but here we have ice cream cake. I have all members and I have the red. I have all members here, including the group. I guess I can state what cards I pulled. I pulled Yeri's for ice cream cake and I'm pretty sure I pulled the group for the red. And then for the velvet I pulled Irene and Sogi. This was the first time me buying multiple copies. I literally only bought two copies. It was just one more than the normal amount. But I did manage to get two different photo cards and they managed to be my top suit in the group. And this did take me a while to complete for how long ago it came out. It did take me a while to find the cards. I had found this one and then it took me for ages to complete the set for some reason. These cards are quite... I don't know, they're not rare to find, it's just, I don't know, because the album's still in print I'm guessing, but it's just hard to find cards for these, and if you do they're kind of a bit more expensive, maybe because of how hard they are to find, they're just not rare, like, I don't know, it's strange, but I have the set complete, and then for Russian Roulette, I pulled two of Yeri's cards and then one Sogi, because I did buy three copies for this, so I was kind of lucky with my Sogi luck there, and sadly I didn't actually pre-order the Russian Roulette, and this was the pre-order benefit, which SM don't really do for Red, um, Red Velvet. Well, for mainly most of their groups, they don't do pre-order benefits anymore. But I managed to find this because I did want it in the collection. So I'm glad I have this. And then we go into Ricky, which is something I am so proud of because I have finally completed two of the sets. 
This was the last card I needed and I got it in a group order. It's in my possession now, so this is completing my rookie cards and I'm so, so, so happy with this. I think I pulled, I honestly can't remember who I pulled because I did buy the five copies, but I didn't buy all five sealed. We have rookie complete, which is amazing. And then we went to Red Summer. I really can't remember who I pulled for this. Because I remember I got the album in Japan. I think I might have pulled Wendy, I have no clue. I honestly don't know. It's funny that I can remember the earlier releases, but I can't remember these ones. So that set's complete. And then for the Perfect Velvet, I have the full set. And I can, I think I pulled this um, Yeri card, but that's complete also. And then I have the Perfect Red Velvet, which is also complete. I think I pulled a Yeri card for this. I remember I did buy two albums, but I cannot remember the cards I pulled. <laughs> so I have the whole set for this. I don't have the Kino. Uh, I don't know if I will get on buying that anytime soon because the cards are really hard to find, but who knows. <laughs> and then next is Summer Magic, which I have all of the cards complete, which I'm so glad. And then I have the Sandies, this is poking it. <laughs> I have this second plate I've managed to get, Irene's. She was the last member I needed. And then RBB, which is also complete. I am so glad I have this completed, honestly. I think one of my favorite Red Velvet like, eras, like concept and like music wise is definitely RBB. And I can also say Ricky, but concept wise I did like RBB a lot. For this, I did pull this Irene card. I bought three copies. So glad I pulled this card. It's one of my favourites so from her. But to be honest, literally, I have like, most of my favourite cards are Irene cards. Can you believe it? <laughs> but yeah, I have, I pulled her and I pulled Wendy's set. Which was good because I didn't get any duplicates. This is also complete. And then we go on to the Revy Festival kind of trilogy thing. I don't know what you call it. But... This is kind of complete. I do need to work on it a bit still, but I'm kind of focusing on the finale a bit more just because of trading and stuff with getting the albums in. So, we do need to work on this a bit, but I do have this card coming in as well. I think it'll take a while to come in, but I do have this coming in from a trade. And I just need Irene's for the Kino, which I'm kind of happy that I've nearly completed this because. I don't know. I didn't want a repeat of the bad boy ones. And yes, so I'm kind of slowly getting there, but I kind of did better with the D2 Kinos. I don't know if they'll do a finale one, but I'm, I kind of, I, like, the completion, is that the right word? The completion part of me? <laughs> is that a word? I don't know if that's the word for it, but like, maybe perfectionist. I want, like, I'd rather have it, the collection complete with the three, three comebacks. Because I wouldn't like there just being a day one and day two Kino without there being a finale one, but then there's also having to collect the finale cards, but then I'm like, it was just it needs to be complete, you know? Completionist? Is that is that the word? I have no idea. Um, I probably just embarrassed myself, but yeah. So now we go on to day two, which this set is complete. I forgot to mention, I put my Red Velvet cards into my own sets. I don't really know the official sets and I don't even think there is official sets because I think there's only official sets between the album versions but there's photo card versions within each album version apart from the guidebook but only prize applies to the guidebook for the finale but these ones I just put it into whatever. So I've done this in like a pattern so this is like the normal version like the day two version and then we go into the guidebook version so it's a little pattern. And then the day two version. So I have one set complete for that. I kind of need to work on this a bit more. But as I said, I'm trying to get finale finished. So yeah. <laughs> well, not finished, but like I'm, I'm trying to work on that a bit more. And here we have the kinos for that. I managed to do a group order and I managed to get four cards. And I had a duplicate joy, so I treated that joy for a And then we go into the finale cards, which this is mainly empty in comparison to the other ones. but. I am working on it still a bit. I'm thinking here, this should be complete. Because I do have cards 
I actually I'm not putting them on my binder yet which is quite funny because you think I'd want to have it for the collection but I can show you it's just because I'm holding off putting certain cards in for like a week or two and then putting it into my binder for a video and yeah let me go through you guys so I do have these two full cards which is from the finale version so if I were to put these in that would complete the set so I do have one set for the finale cards complete but I don't know if I want to have them in the versions. I'm just trying to wait until I get some more cards in and I can tell what cards to put into the versions. As I said, I put my, I put the cards into my own versions, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know, I just, so uh, the page visually looks nice. But we'll have to wait and see how it goes when I get some more cards in. And then we go into the scrapbook version. And then the finale again. And uh, scrapbook version. I do have two Irene cards coming in. So I'm still waiting. I still need the, the one where she's at the sewing machine. And then I just need two Sogi cards, which those are the two members I'm focusing on just now. And then I'll get on to the other members. But yeah, I do need the. I think it'll be so hard to find a Sogi one with the glittery tears. So I'm praying I don't like have to struggle to find that one. But that is currently in my finale collection. And then we go into the album inserts for that. So I just put that in the, at the end because I've kind of grouped them together. So we have Irene's stuff. I do have her postcard coming in for the finale. I have basically all the postcards apart from Sogi now. Which I still have Yeti's postcard up for trade. Um, I do have all of the receipts completed. This is only temporary just now. I do hope to get more two pocket sleeves to separate these because I don't know. But I don't hate the look of this for some reason. <laughs> but I, I'd prefer if these were like not touching each other, you know. And then this is the only Japanese release I have from them, which is Hashakugi Jar. And I still need to get the Sappy cards, but I do have a set complete. And that is my Red Velvet collection, album collection, album cards. I will go onto my other Red Velvet binder which is a lot bigger and I'm so glad I can actually show you guys now because I kind of organised it and I really like the way it's laid out. So let's go into that binder. Okay, so this is my SM Town Goods for Red Velvet. I do have a bunch of the finale stuff coming in. I have like everything apart from like the hollow standee things now. I think it's a standee or are they doing postcards again? I can't remember but they're doing a hollow card and now a lenticular which I love. But that means I'll have to separate these binders soon. Then I'll have three binders for rid of it, which is just um, too much. It is honestly too much. Like, <laughs> why Why do they have to have so much stuff? <laughs> but anyway, so I have this one Sogi card, which is her school Oz, which I did manage to pull. So I just put her at the start because I kind of should, I guess this is kind of like debut era. And then I have the fortune cookie cards and then the sun cafe cards. I just need Wendy's. I think this sets the fortune cookie cards, so I just have all of them in one page. And then I have the automatic 4x6 photos, these are so gorgeous. And then I have the velvet 4x6, I love these so much, so so pretty. So there's two versions for this, I would put these one member to a page but it's just because the versions go well together so I just group them into versions. So I have nothing for like Russian Roulette or Ricky so we'll be going straight on to Red Summer. These are the third anniversary photo cards and I only have three members here. I don't think I'll be able to like find Irene or Yeti's. I think Irene's will be horrible to get but I'm happy with what I have here so this is why I'm currently laying it out like this because I don't think there'll be any additions to this anytime soon so it's not worth me putting it into the five kind of full card layout. And then we go into the postcards for these. I love these so much. Whoa. The red hair is so iconic. This is just such an iconic era. And then we go into Peekaboo or the Perfect Velvet. These are the collect booked photo cards. 
and I have the full set for that and then this is the paper folder full card so each member I have here I have the paper folder as well I apologize for the weather outside but these are the 4x6 photos which I think there was only one set for this love you so much And then we go into the perfect red velvet, which is Bad Boy. And these are when they introduced like the hollow cards slash postcards, but they changed it into standees. I kind of prefer the postcards. But I think SM has heard me because I was talking about how I like how the photo card is the same picture as the postcard. Um, as you, like, if, if you wait until we go into the, like, the later releases for day two, I think it was, the concept picture for the photo card wasn't the same concept as the one for the postcard so I don't I wouldn't mind if it was a different picture but it was if it was in the same outfits but for the finale ones now the hollow one is the same picture as I don't know if it's a postcard or standee I can't remember just now but the lenticular card is a complete different outfit or like concept to the hollow card which I love like I'd rather have them separate and have like more to that in the set which they did do now, so I'm kind of happy they did that. And plus, all of the concept pictures and like just the concepts for the finale was amazing. But yeah, I love these holo cards so much. And I should have Joyce coming in. And then we go into hashtag cookie jar. I have the postcard things, which are in the size of 4x6. So these are 4x6 postcards. I mean, these are like the flyers promotional flyers and then summer magic I have the cash bee cards here because I need to grip one and then these are the SM Pantone goods um, the passport holder thing you got a full card with it and I just put it in here because it is the summer magic kind of era and then these are the standy hollow items this is where they started doing the standees which i hate because i don't know it's just it's, it's a bit annoying i prefer the postcards i i don't know why i just prefer the postcards but you can tell the pictures aren't the same and then we go into rbb which is um and these are the cash fee cards i have the whole set for that finally i've got the grip one and then these are the whole cards you get with the postcards. And I actually do have the A4 photos coming in for this now because, as I said, RBB is like one of my favourites, like visually as well. Like, I don't know, I just love the, the pictures they did for it. So uh, I think I'm going to try and focus on getting like the majority of the sun goods for this and then focus on the other ones. But like, there's still quite a lot for me to get because I'm pretty sure they had like a phone case card a binder card which those are going to be hard to get but i'm slowly adding to it so i have the a4 photos coming in and then we go into day one which i only have these like random cards i don't know what they're called exactly but i do have more packets of these coming in as i said i did get um a few finale stuff so i added some like other some some good like i'm getting some more four by six photos for this for the day one i think as well but yeah I don't know if I should do a video on that or like post it separately. I just put it into my full card haul. Yeah, I have YD set complete for this. I just pray I don't get any major duplicates because I think I only have two packets coming in. It's either two or one packet, but I just hope I get like a variety at least. And then we go on to the holo cards, which I kind of like how they did the holo cards for this because it looks textured and I think it looks quite cool. They also put like a the little logo for input input there. Or just text, it's not really the, lo the logo. Yeah, they didn't do it here. But yeah, these are pretty. So these are the 4x6 photos, not the standees. Because I did organize these into size, so I did smallest to like biggest. And then these are the standees, which I do love the pink outfits, so, it's, so that's why like I wish they did the same kind of hollow card for that. It didn't have to be the exact same picture, but if it was like the same like concept, 
I would have loved. And I have the A4 photos here, which I have the full set for. And then that's all the stuff for like some goods. This is now the season greeting stuff. So I think this is where I might need to separate it or at least at the concert goods separate it but I need to separate this somehow once I get more stuff in which is going to be soon. So I have the 2016 season greetings photo card set and then the 2017 start here. I just love how these look laid out. And then I have the standees. I have three members for this which I'm still so surprised that I actually have silkies for this. I did actually pull Irene's in my season greetings. But this is like one of my favourites I think. I don't, I don't know, I just feel like Russian Roulette just had like such iconic looks and like the hair. Like when was the last time we saw Irene with dyed hair? <laughs> so I have three members. My top three to be exact. And then this is the 2018 season greetings which Visually, it looks, it looks nice. The packaging for this was awful. I can complain about it for ages. <laughs> but I did this differently to what how I laid out these ones because there was only a photo card set for this. So it was easy to kind of connect these up instead of having the six sleeves empty. I kind of just combined them two but have this separator here to kind of indicate that they're different things. For this, I did my two 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 layout because there's 12 cards and I don't know, it just works this way. <laughs> and then this is the pre-order stuff. I have the set for this. I don't know what exactly the set is. <laughs> I can tell you from what shop, but this is when they started doing pre-orders for the season greens, which there's too much stuff for this. <laughs> And yeah, I have two transparent. I have this Irene and Sogi one. I kind of went over this before. I think when I opened this up, I thought this Irene one was going to be the same size as the Sogi. But turns out they're two different. They came from two different shops. So they're different sizes. And then we go on to the 2019 season greetings, which is one of my favourites as well, along with the 2017 one. This one here. Uh, as the pre-order sets because th these didn't come with photo cards. But I do actually have Sogi's, so just imagine her hair because I've not put them in yet. Um, I'm waiting for a video, obviously, but yeah, I just need Wendy's for this and then that'll be me complete. And I'm only going to try to complete two pre-order sets per season greetings, I think. If, I don't know, just like the two separate concepts of the season greetings, I think it just is easier and it'll be less hard on me. This is another pre-order set which you got as all five members which was good so I didn't need to really think too much about getting separate members um, as for this one but for this one you got three photo cards out of five so I couldn't complain about that, it's better than having one so yeah this set's complete and then we actually go into the actual season greeting like items so this was like the accordion booklet thing I do plan on changing these into two pocket sleeves, I just realised I think it might look a bit better because I need to make like white placeholders for these, which I don't have the time for just now. Oops. I just realised the Sogi one's on my birthday month. Wow. I don't think she was in, she was my birthday for the calendar though, which I always try to like spot out. I don't know if anybody else does it, but they check to see if their bias is on their birth month. So cute, I love the concept of this so much. And then these are just the group. And then we go into the posters, which is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. So I've double sleeved these, I think that's what you call it, but just to save um, space, I guess, and kind of, well, it's not really space because it's the same thickness, but less pages to turn. <laughs> Because I don't normally do this, but I think it just looks a bit better. And then I have the stickers here. And I currently still, I don't know why the seller is taking forever to, to for it to ship out, but I 
so I'll have the 2020 one coming in so I don't have that one in the binder but I do have the pre-order for um, this I have Wendy and Yuri and I will only be collecting two sets again for this because for these ones they're essentially the same picture they're just either really really zoomed out or like cropped in so I don't really mind only collecting two of them and then that ends the season greetings and then this goes on to like the concert goods so this was a recent addition I'm so happy I have this uh, these are the collect book from Red Room I've not really focused too much on Red Room I've mainly added a lot to their most recent concert which was La Rouge I'm so happy I did because that concept's my favourite but if you were to put it into perspective this was my second favourite like concert concept like the styling like the era like everything are gorgeous so I have two members for this which I'm glad I have Sogis for and then for Red Mare I just have the postcard sets Which I hate that they don't do group ones for the postcard sets for their concert because I love it too much. <laughs> and then we go into La Rouge. So this is like the key ring photo card. And these are hollow, which are the best things ever. They're not like the, the usual SM hollow cards, but so, so pretty. And then this is, I'm pretty sure this is just the key ring. I think this is the key ring set. And then this is the ticket holder. And these are the fortune cards. I have a whole set for that. And I will get my fortune cards out. So I currently, I didn't realize there was actually three photo cards for each member. So I have mainly two for each member. I just don't know if I will collect all three because I recently got this Wendy one that I didn't have. And then just came into my mind that there is three photo cards per member for the scratch card. So I don't know if I'll collect three photo cards per member or just the two because I just need one of Irene's ones and then that'll be me complete if I were to do two per member but I don't know yet. <laughs> and this is the collect book photo thing. Um, and then these are the film strips which these are gorgeous. I'm so glad to have these. And then the postcard set which is the last thing here. Finally we're at the end of this binder. <laughs> so so beautiful. And I realised as soon as I, I'm pretty sure it was like two minutes into going through this binder I forgot to go through the first like page with the little sleeve in it so I'm gonna go through that quickly. Okay so basically here I just have the little La Rouge kind of, these are like the set holders so I got these from a group order let me take everything out and then um, this is the envelope for the birthday card which I have Sogi's um, from 2017 let me put that behind so these are basically just bigger Sogi items that I don't really know where to put just now so I have five of these pocket things I don't know what you call these and then I have the season greetings this was the set that came in so this was the grey background one and then I have her lenticular you got from one of the pre-orders which I pulled. I think I'm just a bit lucky with kind of the random Sogi items but I don't want to say that because I feel like it'll just curse. Like it'll just be cursed the next few times. And then I have the Pantone postcard thing which uh, is like a ran random member like signed and this is Sogi's one. I did get two of these because I did want a display one but I still have to put that up on my wall. I got Joy's and so these one, but that is all what's in this little pocket here. That was my red velvet other binder. So we go into Luna now, which I'll go get my binder for that. Okay, so I actually think, I think I'll talk about it when I get to the group, but this is currently my Luna binder. I put the Luna birth like calendar thing in here because it fits and I just feel like it's good to have a group together with my Luna stuff instead of me having it like hidden in my wardrobe, which where I actually did have it before. I just prefer if it's with me 
and all my other Luna stuff instead of it being hidden. So that's why that's there. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is my Luna binder. I collect OT12. RIP me. Yeah, I still need to work on my free debut cards. I still haven't added much to it. I, I need three more and then like a couple more of the subunit ones, which I'm not focusing on. But they are reprinting their albums, which I'm so happy about because hopefully the folk cards won't go for too much, especially with it being reprint reprinted. Um, but we know how Luna sellers price things. And, and of course, like Arbit collectors buy it for those prices, which is unbelievable. If I were, like, because the cards are out there, but if I were to be one of those people, I would have the collection complete just now, but I don't want to pay too much for something that shouldn't be overpriced, you know? Especially with the, al the albums coming back into print, so just be patient, I guess, if you want to collect Luna, because the albums eventually come back into stock. Some might not, i.e. the limited versions for the subunits, which is understandable. It's been like that for a while, but I trust BBC to reprint the solos at least, so that's what I'm waiting for. I won't be buying the album, I'm hoping to at least buy the photo cards, but if it comes to it, I'll have to buy the album. If I get a duplicate, I'll just have to trade, but for just now, I'm kind of content with what I have. It's just, I do want to complete my solos soon, it's just not there yet. So, for my solos, I have Heejin, Hengen and Hassel complete. This is the version A sets just now, so I have this complete. I have Yojin and Kimlet complete. I need this PV card style. And then I have Jinsoo, Cherry, and Eve complete to go on and Olivia complete. So I just need that one PV card to complete the version A album cards. And I have Hassel and Luna complete. Need these two, which is the only two I think I need for the version B card. And I have Yojin and Hassel, PV and Hassel and Kimlet version B complete. Kimlet and Jinsoo, Jinsoo and Cherry and Eve complete. Chu and Eve go on to go on and elevate he complete. And then that is all for the solos. This is now onto the subunits, what I only collect the normal versions for. Makes sense because that's the only versions I can. Even though these are quite hard to find any as well, but they don't they won't go as much as the limited ones, but I'm nearly complete this. I just need two cards for Love and Love. And then I need Cherry and the Souls Max and Match. And I have YY by Y complete for normal and limited. And then we go into debut, OT12 cards. I have this complete for the two versions for Plus Plus. And also the limited cards. And then we go into multiply, multiply, XX, whatever you want to call it. I need to work on the version A cards quite a lot. So yeah, I do have two cards coming in though. I should have this gold one and this two card coming in. So I finally have this white by white page complete. And I will also have gold one complete finally. <laughs> but I do want to finish version B quite quickly, but it's just um with hashtag coming out, burn, whatever you want to call it. I'm so kind of like, ugh, but I guess the progress I have made is quite good because this page is nearly complete anyway. And then the limited cards. So plans for burn, I've ordered six copies. I've ordered six normal copies from My Music Taste. So that will bring me to 12 pre-order cards, which is the My Music Taste cards. I do want to try and collect them. I will have an extra one to sell or trade because Hassel won't be in the comeback. I still need to buy the limited albums, but I hope there's only two photo card sets. For this, there's technically four photo card sets, so you get two for each member. There was six for one of the limited versions and then two for the limited other version. So I'm hoping there's just one version for the normal cards, one version for the limited cards, or at least one version for the A version and then one version for the B version. It's still kind of confusing with the album details because there's literally, there's no like official album details, only from the My Music Taste website. Do BBC, I actually, I've been in orbit for how long? <laughs> do BBC do album details? Because I never see, I don't know, we'll have to see, but I just hope there's only two photo card sets because people are saying that, either that or four slash five, including the My Music Taste, which I don't want to go there. I'm just praying that there's two photo card sets per member or at least version. So
So yeah, let's pay for that. <laughs> and then we go into like the premiere meeting items. So this is Up and Liner transparent cards. I love these so much. Go ones black hair. And then we have the Liner Nut Polaroids. And then we go into Luna Studio. There's two sets for this, so this is the second set. And then I'm going to put meeting up here, but I'm kind of just not happy that they're not Polaroids because the page won't look even, but what can you do? <laughs> and then we have the Orbit First Fan Club kit. These are like the postcard, message cards. And I'm pretty sure I should move this, but I currently have it in between the first Orbit Fan Club kit and the second one. But I should move this maybe to the end. <laughs> and then we have 2 by all. And then here I have the season greeting, the first season greetings for 2020. I plan on when the third Orbit Fan Club kit comes out, I will move these to a new page, but for just now to save space and to kind of fill up this gap here, I have the season greetings here. So I start off with bye 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 bye. Kind of like a whole cycle. I do my cards in. But there's so many here, it's just gonna bulk up my binder after the meeting up. And now for their showcase, is that what it's called? At least there's gonna be another 60 full cards. <laughs> is it 66? I think there's six cards per member. So six times 11 is 66. So I don't know why BBC are doing that. I just hope I can get it as a set because I do have the meeting up full cards coming in as a set. But at least the concert goods, there's only one photo card set instead of it being like the Lunaverse or Lunabirth ones where there was like multiple different items. And for that case, I would only be collecting Go One, but if there was like just a photo card set, I'd be OT12. But these are all the Luna Season Greeting cards. And then I have the A4 poster things. So, so cute. And then we go into my Go One items. I forget to do this each time. I need to cover up my Orbit crate number thing. So these are really like more of my Raider Go One items slash concert items, as I said um, before. So these are my broadcast cards and my Orbit Fan Club kit cards. So I have the YY by Y broadcast and then the debut Hi Hi broadcast card, which has signed. So, so happy to have this because you like the little diddle here and it's like it's supposed to replicate that filter. I don't know, but it kind of matches well because this here is signed as well, so it kind of matches. I don't know why, but this is the Lunaverse like lottery card, which every member had like one of these and each one were signed. And I have her first broadcast card here, so I kind of like how I'm laying this out because these are like bright photo cards, so it matches up with the first fan club card membership card and then for the butterfly promotions it's like really like it's kind of not like a dark concept but they're wearing black obviously so it matches with this and I don't know I think it's quite cool <laughs> that's how I'm seeing it but those are my Raider Gomont cards kind of scared for the broadcast cards for this era but hopefully it will be fine and then we go into the concert items so this is their debut concert Luna Birth so I have the light stick sticker the official like orbit this was like exclusive to those who were on the fan cafe and you could only get it at the concert if you were a part of the fan cafe so despite this being kind of the same concept as the orbit postcards from the first orbit fan club kit um these were from the debut concert and then i have her id card here which is so out of place because of how big the sleeve is but oh, <laughs> it looks cute and then we have the postcard thing. And then I have her profile, which is like an A4 photo. And then we have Lunaverse, which, oh, I'm kind of sad that they're not doing like items like this for their showcase, but I guess it's easier on me because I don't have to collect so much stuff. But yeah, this is like the accordion booklet thing. And then I have her ID as well. And there was nothing to put up there, so it's blank. And then I have her like poster things. So, so beautiful. 
I just can't wait to see Gowen with her darker hair. Um, I'm not ready because I'm kind of missing the blonde already because I know she doesn't have it anymore. It looks more brown than it actually looks silver just now because seeing that video clip of the teaser for Swap on M Countdown, I think, did not look silver. It looks really, really like brown, kind of like the brown Kim Lip did before she went to her darker hair. So I'm hoping that's the same process for Gowen, but we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, these are so, so pretty. And that is my Luna Bender. Kind of full. I'll definitely get more full now, especially with the photo card sets. Gosh, I don't know why BBC are doing that. Did it like, did he want to ruin us? Okay, so this is my big girl group binder. So this basically has all my other girl groups that aren't Red Velvet and Luna. Basically all the other girl groups I collect that are not my alts, but I will get into that once we go into the binder. So, uh, I do alphabetical order and then age order. As usual. So we start off with Dreamcatcher and I don't know, I think I want to try and focus a bit more on my Alone in the City cards because I only have two hand-on cards to complete for that and then I can focus a bit more on this stuff. But once I do manage to complete these cards, I do want to try and find the albums for it but it's not really something I need to get on to doing, it's just a plan for when I, it does happen. So. This is currently what I have, so I have Follows Like a Complete for full cards. And then I have Prequel, and then Prequel Japan version. And then this is Gate Era, which I have completed. So, so beautiful. And then this, I had three of the group cards you got from the album, since I did get a fan sign for this. So I just kept it and kind of used it as a separator between them two. And I actually have this page complete now, which is beautiful. I recently got this hand-on card. So I have the selfie set for Alone in the City complete. And then as I said, I just need these two hand-on cards to complete my Alone in the City. I have finished Suna and Xiang's cards. And then I have completed my whole set for End of Nightmare. And then for Raid of Dream, I need Suna's selfie card and Xiang's black pack, which is the black outfits. I don't know if I want to collect the My Music Taste cards, but if I were to, I would put them here. I was just finding them. I don't know if I'll be able to, but yeah, if I ever do, they're gonna go here and then the new release will go here, obviously, which I hope. I'm guessing it's gonna be soon. Um, maybe end of February, start of March, I don't know, but like I'm, I'm feeling a Dreamcatcher comeback. So that is all my Dreamcatcher cards. And then we're going to Etsy, and this is what I wanted to talk about. I think Etsy are definitely my third all group now. I am just gonna wait until their next release and I will definitely be collecting their stuff obviously but I think if this next release confirms it I will be putting Etsy into my Luna binder and have that kind of split just because of either my Luna binder or my Red Velvet one just depending on how big it is because there's not a lot of Etsy stuff just now so I think putting them into the separate binder to kind of differentiate my alts from just my normal like girl groups that I stand so um, I, I will either put them in my Red Velvet or Luna binder, but I feel like it was fitting to put into my Luna binder just because two rookies. And then maybe one day, eventually, if I get more stuff for them, put them into their separate binder just now. But just now, there's not a lot of stuff, so I don't need to worry about that. But yeah, I definitely want to start collecting Rujin's reader cards. I don't know. I don't know if I want to like collect all member cards just because it's like the JYP kind of format of having multiple cards per album. So just now I'm just sticking with my collecting all of the Rujin stuff and then a bunch of the other members cards. So for just now for the Etsy for the Etsy IC cards I'm I've completed Rujin's set including the pre-order card and the postcard. And for the other members I'm just collecting two full cards just now so it depends on what how many there is for the next come back and if they're gonna do multiple cards, borderless or bordered cards because for these ones here I'm just collecting the ones that are borderless and I actually have this one I'm just looking for this Yeji one now which is the borderless one that doesn't have a signature on it so this is currently my Etsy collection I did mention I do want to collect more of Rujin's Raider stuff hopefully I can do that because I don't know if I'll regret it or not but I do think Etsy are gonna be my third alt group because I would say my third alt group's always been Preston. So Etsy might be joint third with Panapia. As I said, I just have to wait until there's more stuff released. I can definitely like, confirm it a bit more with Etsy just because they've had more stuff compared to Panapia. As for Luna, they've had pre-debut so I could kind of like judge from there. But definitely music is a big 
factor in it so just now Etsy don't have a lot of songs and Appear only has one song and Minkin's always been like an alt for me so it just depends I might one day I guess once Hanapia have more releases I can put Etsy and Hanapia into one binder and just have that as like my third alt group being both of them who knows but we'll just have to wait and see in the future but I do want to move Etsy just now as I say separate my groups from my alt and I don't actually have Hannah P in here just now because obviously no physical releases I think I'm just gonna repeat myself just now but yeah so I just need this one Yeji card so if anybody has it I do have a few cards up for trade I do have an extra Dojin coming in but I do have a Yuna and a Cheryon card which should be on my Instagram if anybody is interested in trading I've not been able to find this one for trade for basically forever I've only seen it up for sale and there's no point in me buying a card that I can trade for unless people are not trading for it, which is tragic. But yeah, that's my Etsy collection. Kinda liking collecting them, it's really, really fun. And then we go into this one, which I am collecting my top three. So I actually have Colour as Complete, which is gorgeous. I'm so happy I have this complete. Ah, they're so cute. <laughs> and then we go into Heart Is, which I only have two Hitomi cards. So um, I'm down to offers for these because I do want to try and complete this and then they're hopefully when they come back it's going to be a bit hard well at least start collecting that set but I'd want to focus on this a bit more just because I'm lacking so much because there's I've only got two photo cards out of how many there's like 12 <laughs> so yeah I'm thinking I'm maybe changing the layout of this as well just because of the kinos but just now I like this format it's just I can maybe try and change it up a bit so I have two Hitomi cards, as I said, tragic, but I should work on this a bit more for this year. And then we go into Preston, which is nearly complete. I just need one Preston V card, which is so annoying because I consider my Preston collection complete. I know there's one, that one Preston V card, but I've been debating whether or not to put this into the separate binder and maybe just keep Minkyon's cards with Hanapia once they release some more things. but. For just now, I still have Preston in here, so this is all my Minkin stuff. Those were album cards, these are more of like the rare ones. So iconic, I miss Preston so much. <laughs> and then we go into the Batting High concert cards, which is pre-debut. And then we go into their debut. Hi Preston. Complete set. And then we go into Skill Out, which is also complete. So yeah, I just need Kyo Kyang's like V card. Well, I think it's just called a V card. I have, I think I have an extra Nyan to trade. But yeah, I'm looking to find that card and then all my Preston album cards will be complete. Oof. And then we go into Twice, which I have been working on a bit just because they're a bit easier to trade and the cards are quite easy to find, I guess. So we have Slowly Wayans, which is complete. I am collecting OT9 until What Is Love just because I have like half of it complete since I was like really into collecting twice and I didn't sell off the collection when I kind of like stopped collecting them for the longest time but I'm back into collecting them and I have a majority of their cards from So They Begins to Merry and Happy it kind of lacks after Lane 2 I'd say but yeah I, I decided just to keep the cards and collect OT9 for up to Merry and Happy but yeah I'm missing Jiho's Lenticular card for page 2 but that's pretty much complete and then we have Lane 1 which is complete this is my most favourite page I just love holo cards so much I wish he did something like this again I love the little graphics they put around it and stuff and then we have Lane 1 Christmas Edition, which the selfie cards are complete. Oof. I remember getting this album thinking it was so useless and I still got it anyway, but thank god I did because this is so hard to find now. And I'm actually surprised I actually have this selfie cards complete. And I still have four more to complete for the hollow ones, but I do have Santa's set complete. And then we have... Lane 2, which I only, I collected, I have the majority of the yellow borders because for the longest time I only had the yellow cover and I only need Minas now, so yeah, and <laughs> I actually bought this card before even buying the album and the time 
and of course when I actually got the album I pulled this exact card so I have this Chan card up for Twitter for any other member their pink version and this is where it gets tragic because I still only have one version of Signal I still need to get Signal, Twistagram, Merry and Happy and then that's me like nearly done with my Twice album collection I think but yeah I only have one Signal album so this is how empty it is and I'm scared to get the Twistagram just because of the new print, the cards and stuff. So I think I might just buy it unsealed with the old sticker because I don't know how to feel about the new card press. And then we have Merry Happy. I have some cards for these even though I don't have the album yet. And then we go on to What Is Love. And this is where I'm only collecting my top three and then one OT9 set. Apart from this where there's two. I will be collecting one OT9 set if there's 10 photo cards per member, but for this there's 11, so uh, I'm collecting two sets for OT9. And then Summer Nights. I have one complete for this. I'm thinking about like rearranging the cards one day just to see if it will look a bit nice. Um, since I have almost page complete, I can see what it looks like and then I can kind of base off of, base my other pages off of that, but I've not done it yet, so just depends. And then this is the OT9 set I'm collecting. And then we have Yes or Yes. And year, yes, I have no Jungian card, but I do have her sticker. I have 3 out of 5 for Momo and 2 out of 5 for Sana. And then we have Fancy You, Fancy You. I tend to say Fancy You just because it says on the album cover, Fancy You. But we have Jungian. Momo's is nearly complete, I need one card for her. And then Sana, I just need one card as well. And then this is OOT9 set I'm completing, which is Warder. Got the letter card. And then we have Feel Special. Which I say this is like the more kind of spread out between all members where I have like an equal amount of cards, which I'm kind of happy about. I'm collecting the black slash dark brown border for OT9 and then the gold cards. I'll show you guys the pre-order sets I have because I do want to try and collect them all, I just don't have them all. So I can show you guys what I have and then what I still need to get. Okay, so this is in one of my old binders where I have the four rings. And this was just like where I moved my twice collection right after I like kind of stopped collecting them for a while. So these are all the twice pre-order sets I have. I don't know if you can see, should I? Okay, so we have lane one. Oh gosh, I forget how hard it is to go through the rings. And then lane two, the yellow slash orange version, and then the pink. And then I have Signal's pre-order set. Twistagram. Merry and Happy. Yes or Yes. Year of Yes. And then Feel Special. And then I have all the group cards here. So I am missing like quite a bunch, but I thought it would be easier to like kind of separate the pre-order sets and have some more space in my binder, despite it still being quite full. But yeah, I think I prefer having these separate just because they're pre-order cards and there's quite a lot of them. So yeah. And uh, next is Wiki Mickey. I'm collecting Ellie cards, all of her album cards. So here we have Wee Me version A and version B, which is complete. And then here we have all of the lucky cards. I just need one card. It's been forever. I've been trying to find this one for ages. But I do want to try and add more to her collection, um, which is nearly complete. I need, I only need five more cards to complete her. So let's pray I do. So we have Kiss Kicks, and then Walking Lol, and then Weekend Lol. And then the postcards you get from Kiss Kicks. 
and then all the little key ring inclusions, which I think is so cute. Um, I got two from the, I think this is the Kiss version from Kiss Kicks. I got two of the pink ones, so I just did like a little pattern, and then this one here. I know this should actually go here, but the shapes, and I did a pattern again, so it's like the circle, whatever the shape is, and then the circle again. But yeah, I hope they continue doing these little keyring things, because they're quite cute. And next is WSN. I'm trying to collect all members, but it's not really like a priority. It's just like a slow collection for me, as long as I have like majority of that one cards, I'll be fine. So I have majority of hers complete. I do have her would you like concert card, kind of just to separate from the happy moment. But there would be like a white placeholder here. And I would put this somewhere separate because it's not really an album card, but I think it's quite fitting and it makes the nine pocket page complete. And then I don't have her Dream or Dream card. I have her Would You Please cards and then one of her Would You Stay cards. And then I have my other three members from my top four that doesn't include that one. Um, so we have Loda, Insu and Michi. And then it goes on to the other member Marias that are not in my top four. So I would say I'm kind of happy with this, but with them releasing basically three folk cards per member, it's quite hard to queue up. But I would say like I try to focus on these a bit more. I don't really mind being quite behind because I don't know. It's not really a collection I need to be completed. I slowly can complete it can complete it but yeah I do have four full cards to trade so I need to find the four that I'm missing for these happy moment cards which I have one photo card per set to finish but I'll be so so happy once I do finish them and then we're going to dream a dream I'm still looking for the one bookmark here and then the would you please set it so so pretty and then here where is where it gets some like uh, tragic. We have you the would you stay cards. And then I have the for the summer cards. I pulled two sevens, so I nearly have her set complete. And then I have the as you wish, which oh my god, probably one of my favourite minis from them. Like probably one of my favourite minis as a whole from like a non red velvet mini album because every song on this is just so so good I can't get over this Bona card, so so gorgeous, the pink here suits her so much and yeah, so that is my good group collection but I thought I might as well just show you guys some of the stuff I don't actually have in this binder which is only two cards so I have this Damon broadcast card which I don't know where I'm going to be putting it because I don't really collect broadcast cards for Damon but this was too pretty for me not to get and this was like the price of a, like a normal Luna photo card like just a normal album photo card and print one. I will put this in my binder soon, it just depends on how I'm going to store it but it's currently not in here just now. And then I have one of Virgin's broadcast cards. Uh, I hope to get her other ones soon. As I said, I just don't know where to put them just now because I feel like it would be quite awkward just having it one photo card on one page without there being any more, you know. So I have those two that are not in my collection just now but I plan on putting them in. But I also plan on putting some miscellaneous groups Get a groups in here because I do have some promise cards. I do want to put my Oh My Good Old collection back in here just for their earlier stuff because I do appreciate their older stuff. I don't stand them as much now, but I just don't want to give my cards away. <laughs> I'm kind of I'm kind of too attached to them. So I will have it organized sooner or later. Just it's something I want to plan to do. So yeah, that was my good group binder. We'll go on to boy groups finally. Okay, so lastly we have my boy group, which I do want to start focusing on a bit more, but will I really do that? <laughs> I think if I have the opportunity to trade and get some card or find cards for cheap, definitely I'll get them. But my main priority in my collection is definitely good groups because, you know, I feel like good groups are superior, but I still like my boy groups. <laughs> so I tried to collect OT7 BTS, which is quite a lot, but I would say like there's a chunk in the collection where it's like complete, so I don't know. I think I'm just slowly collecting them. I do love their music. I know I don't talk about them enough, but I think it's just for the best. All album cards, I want to try and collect all members. So 
we have Aurelate 2. And for this, I'm planning on just collecting my top three. So if anybody is interested in trading any of these for Yungi, Namjoon, or Taehyun, please let me know because I will definitely want to have these here just because, I don't know, I can't be bothered collecting all of these to be honest. <laughs> and then we have Dark and Wild. And then the most beautiful moments in life part one. Kind of tragic. And then here is where it gets more complete, which I love. This is like a favorite part in this collection. So I have most beautiful moments in life part two. And then we have Young Forever Polaroids complete. And then the pre-order, which is the dope cards. And then we have wings. This was honestly such an easy set com to complete as well just because there was only one photo card for the whole era and you got four versions so you, if you pulled four different members you'd only need another four cards if you wanted to collect the group as well. But yeah this was quite easy to complete. And then we have You Never Walk Alone. I love this set so much. I just love the colours and like the hand pose. Honestly so cute. And then I have the standee for it. And then we go into the Love Yourself series, which this is her, this is the L version, I have complete the O, V, and E. And then for tier, you have the Y, O, U, and then R. Wow. Just, it's so sad to see in one card, I need to complete the set but it's not complete because you still need to get that one card so let's hope I can, can complete some more of these sets this year and then for answer this is the S version I have the E version complete so so nice to have the L and then F and then we go into Persona only three for this version one, version two, I just need Jin, version three, Yi and Jin, and then I have this set complete, which is nice to see. And in the postcards, I just need a Jungkook one. And I just wish they did a group one because it would look so cute here. And then I just have the album inserts, so the stickers for her, the stickers for answer. And then the standy for tear and then a little film strip for Persona. And then we go into EXO. I finally did get my first ever Chen album. That was not in frame at all, I'm so sorry. Um, so I do need to start putting like his solo stuff in here. So I'm collecting Chen CBX and then Chen solo stuff. My aim for this year is maybe to finish Chen's album cards, but that means I have to get some more EXO albums or at least just buy them unsealed without a full card. Because there's some cards here I do have for Chen that I don't actually have the album for. Like Yolotto and then like Mama and for XOXO. And also Growl. I have a lot of XO albums I still need to get but... Yeah, I do want to try and get some more, like some of his more like recent stuff. But this is currently what I have. And I have two group cards from Growl. And then there is CBX. And then I still need to put the solo stuff here. And then we have NCT, I am collecting Jungmin and Jimin. I have a bunch of Jungmin and Jimin stuff that's not in here, so I don't know if I'll be able to like move my NCT stuff into a super binder one day, but I do need to sort out my NCT stuff. So I need to get on doing that. But nothing's really changed since last time for this. I just need to organize. So that's all the empathy stuff and then these are like the some goods from it and then like the spring fun party whatever you want to call this. This is the postcard you got with the hollow. I still don't have Jungus for some reason but this is the postcards in the 4x6 set and I have his thumb strip and Jungus A4 photo. There's it's like it's so hard to find any of Jamin's stuff for this but I'm glad I have quite a lot of the Jungus. Anyway, and then we go into We Go Up, which I'm so proud of this. <laughs> I just need to get on organising the other 
some goods for these comebacks which I know there's a lot for superhuman we are superhuman I just need to get on doing that I've just been putting it off I guess And then the 2019 season greetings, which I love this concept so much. I'm just sad that we didn't get any journey items for the 2020. But I do need to get Jamin's, so I need to find um like a set of all of his stuff. Because that's what I did for this one, because of course I didn't buy the NCT one. Um, the Red Velvet one's enough for me. I feel like that's the only official one I'll get. But this year I got Luna's as well, obviously. So yeah, I collect, basically try to collect most of my alts from NCT and then for of course there's some comebacks where they were, weren't in it so what I'm doing is collecting their stuff and then from each like album slash album version I'm going to collect not album version but like album photo card or well, photo card version I'm going to collect like one member so for fire truck there was two versions so I'm collecting two photo card versions I, I've actually pulled this one um which I was happy about I think I was going to collect the youngs but I ended up liking this card a bit more just because I pulled it and it saved me like an extra trade so yeah these are the cards I'm collecting and then it changes here <laughs> so I do actually have su not super M I have wavy stuff but I still need to get into organizing that I've been more into like organizing my red velvet stuff so yeah um I think for the other version for regular I want to, I want to collect Taeyong so I want his postcard as well and then for the We Are Superhuman I think it was Doyoung because I did have Doyoung's here but I didn't want to have two of Doyoung's stuff. I think it was just regularly and then his We Are Superhuman I think it was, I can't remember the member for Superhuman. Johnny, yeah I wanted Johnny's We Are Superhuman card and um, Doyoung's regularly, I forgot about that. And then these are the cards I want for the Wee Boom. I don't know if I'll be collecting the circle cards, I think it's just easier with photo cards but who knows. We'll see. It's just because I guess I have the postcard set for regular. I don't know. <laughs> and then 17, Joshua. I collect him. I tried to collect all of his stuff, but um, I tend to want to collect more if I have the album because then I can trade the card if I don't pull the member I want to collect. So I don't have a lot of 17's albums, so I'll need to get on again some of them. These are all the Joshua cards I have. It's kind of a tragic collection, but I do wish to work on it this year. And then Vix, I try to collect OT6. I don't really work on this a lot. It's just, I just think it's hard to find people that collect Vix nowadays. But I do love their music, so I do have their albums. I just need to get Shangri-La. I think that's the only albums I'm missing from them. I just need Leo's cards. Well, both of his cards to complete the chained up card sets I'd say this is the time where I really got into them I love the dynamite so much oh the memories and I have just I have both of their solo albums, so I actually have their full card sets complete. I just need to work on getting more of them. As I said, I don't. There's a lot of boy group albums I have. I just haven't completed most of the sets. I'd say mainly, I've completed NCT and BTS. The other ones I need to work on a lot more. But that is all of my album cards for my boy groups and my boy group collection. So yeah, that was my updated full card collection for January with the addition of my red velvet binder finally being added, my other red velvet binder. I can't wait to see how much my collection grows <laughs> even more this year. The next update will definitely be in June time and yeah, let's hope I stick to my words and get some more body groups and focus on things I said I was going to focus on. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this and being interested in my collection. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!